Have you ever wondered how we as humans came into existence? What if our understanding of human evolution is not as complete as we thought? Human evolution is a complex, intriguing tapestry woven with threads of mystery and discovery. It's a journey through time that traces our roots back to our earliest ancestors and chronicles our growth and evolution as a species. Yet, despite our best efforts to decipher this puzzle, there still remain pieces that are missing or yet to be discovered. Now imagine stumbling upon a piece that doesn't seem to fit anywhere in the picture we've so painstakingly constructed. A piece that, instead of providing answers, raises even more questions. A piece that hints at the existence of an undiscovered lineage that could dramatically alter our understanding of human history. This is not a mere flight of fancy, but a tantalizing possibility that has emerged from a recent groundbreaking discovery. Join us as we delve into the depths of this discovery that might just reshape our understanding of human evolution. In the shadows of East China, a team of relentless paleontologists unearthed something extraordinary. At a site in Hualongdong, the ground gave way to a fascinating glimpse into our past. This treasure trove of history came in the form of a fossilized jawbone, a partial skull, and some leg bones, all dating back to a staggering 300,000 years ago. The team, a collaboration between the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Xianjiao Tong University, the University of York, the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences, and the National Research Center on Human Evolution, immediately set to work, eager to unlock the secrets held within these ancient remains. Their initial assessment focused on the jawbone. This wasn't any ordinary fossil. It bore unique features that set it apart from anything they had seen before, a triangular lower edge, a unique bend. These were traits that had not been seen in hominids from East Asia. What could this mean? The team pondered over this intriguing enigma. As they delved deeper, they found that the jawbone exhibited features that resembled both modern humans and late Pleistocene hominids. But there was no chin, a feature that marked it as more akin to older species. It was a curious blend, a cocktail of traits spanning across time and species. The plot thickened when they found other features that resemble hominins of the Middle Pleistocene. All these clues pointed towards an individual most resembling a Homo erectus species, but something was different. The combination of traits suggested a hybrid, a cross between a modern human and an ancient hominid. They turned their attention to the skull, a relic from the Middle Pleistocene, the first of its kind to be found in southeastern China. Unlike the jawbone, the bones in its face bore more resemblance to modern humans. It was a paradox, a tantalizing clue in the grand mystery of human evolution. As they attempted to assign a species to these remains, they ruled out Denisovan. The fossils seemed to represent a third lineage, one that was neither Denisovan nor Homo erectus, but closer to Homo sapiens. If this was the case, it suggested that this species shared some evolutionary links with hominins of the middle or late Pleistocene. What they had in their hands was a puzzle piece from 300,000 years ago that didn't seem to fit into our current understanding of human evolution. But sometimes the pieces that don't seem to fit are the ones that complete the picture. The team knew they had something unprecedented. Now they needed to figure out where it fit in the grand scheme of human evolution. It was time for a deep dive into the morphological and geometric assessment process. The jawbone with its triangular lower edge and unique bend was the first piece of this puzzle. The jawbone had certain features that were strikingly similar to both modern humans and late Pleistocene hominids. However, its lack of a chin pointed towards a closer relation with older species. Further similarities were observed with hominins of the middle Pleistocene, suggesting an association with the Homo erectus species. But here's the twist. The puzzle didn't stop at the jawbone. The skull, previously identified as the first ever middle Pleistocene human skull found in southeastern China, told a different story. The facial bones were more similar to modern humans than the jawbone was. This combination of features was a first in East Asia, hinting that traits found in modern humans might have started appearing as far back as 300,000 years ago. The final step was to pin down the species these remains belonged to. Denisovan was ruled out, leaving the team with a thrilling possibility. Could these fossils represent a third lineage? One that was not Denisovan or Homo erectus, but closer to Homo sapiens? 
if this was the case, it would mean that this new species shared some evolutionary relationships with hominins of the middle or late Pleistocene, resulting in shared characteristics. The findings were astounding, pointing towards the existence of a third lineage, one that was neither Denisovan nor Homo erectus. This discovery suggested something revolutionary, a hybrid of modern human and ancient hominid. Imagine that, a new kind of ancestor etched into the family tree of humanity. This is no ordinary ancestor, but a blend of old and new, a missing link that bridges the gap between us and the ancient hominids that walked the earth hundreds of thousands of years ago. This groundbreaking find has profound implications for our understanding of human evolution. It challenges our preconceived notions about the linear progression from ancient primates to modern humans. Perhaps evolution is less of a straight line and more of a complex web with multiple branches and offshoots, some of which converge and intertwine in unexpected ways. Now let's delve into the specifics, the unique features of the jawbone, the triangular lower edge, the unique bend, all point towards a hybrid of modern human and ancient hominid. This suggests that traits found in modern humans began to appear much earlier than we initially thought, as far back as 300,000 years ago, in fact. This is a significant shift in our understanding of when and how modern human traits emerged. If we take a closer look at the skull, we find more evidence of this, this hybridization. The bones in its face bear a striking resemblance to those in modern humans, more so than the jawbone. This discrepancy between the jawbone and the face further reinforces the notion of a mixed lineage, a blend of old and new. What does this mean for us today? Well, it's a reminder that our evolutionary journey is far more complex and fascinating than we could ever imagine. It shows us that we are not just the product of a single linear path, but the result of countless interactions, adaptations, and transformations over hundreds of thousands of years. It also tells us that there's still so much more to learn. Every new discovery, every unearthed fossil, brings us one step closer to understanding our origins, our history, and ultimately, ourselves. We may have just uncovered a page from an unknown chapter in the book of human evolution, reminding us that our quest to understand ourselves is far from over.